I'd like to actually give uh, a word of praise to a local housing association. I live in a, a really nice village, small country village in North Yorkshire. It's very, uh, very popular, lots of people want to live here. But there are some people who find life here very, very difficult. The problem is that a lot of housing associations and local councils have put people from the at-risk register, or those that really do need uh, uh, some housing and some support, they've put them into some low-cost housing, social housing, in small villages like ours. It makes it very difficult for them to be able to conduct a good and normal life. Like in our village, there are no shops, there's no schools, the last bus is at 20 past 3 in the afternoon, there's no playground, there's no playing area. It's very, very difficult for uh, people who've got limited resources to be able to enjoy uh, their life. It's, uh, uh, if you're a single parent and you're struggling with uh, a young family, uh, what do you do in terms of your relief? You're many, many miles away from your family, you're many miles away from your work, it really is a hard uh, a, a situation to be in. But local authorities, and particular housing associations, have continued to put people into difficult situations like this and it's made life very difficult for them. Therefore, I give a lot of praise to Broadacres Housing Association in North Yorkshire because what they've done is to say, is to make a criteria that there's some local connection. Either they work locally, or there's family locally, or they've uh, uh, been living in that area. They know about it. They've got support. Well done, Broadacres.